Hi, you're watching Bowtie by Aphids J. Caboodle. Uh, this is Dave Levy, is my real name, and I am talking about the first ten episodes of Bowtie. The one you're watching now is episode one, Life on Mars, but it was actually animated second. And the reason I released it first is because in the second cartoon, which you'll see in a moment, um, Bowtie doesn't say anything. So I thought, well, it'd be weird to introduce a talking character without hearing his voice. So I just switched the order around. The Crush is an episode that is based on a real incident that happened to me while working at McDonald's. And when you're basing your stories on life's little moments, it'd be easy to cherry pick all the times when you're a good guy or did the right thing. But it's more fun to show a full range of possibilities. And in The Crush, Bowtie is certainly a jerk. But why not? Episode 3, The Painting, um, this was a fun one, and this is the episode that gives you a little bit more of what's to come because you meet the Pizza Slice and Robot and Robot's mom, which become uh, main characters as the, the series progresses. I should say something about the theme music of Bowtie. Um, I really just wanted something really fast, something catchy, but it was really just me and, and a couple of maracas. Um, Bowtie, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't much of a song or a jingle or anything, but it's kind of that do-it-yourself quality in the audio that, I'm, that I try to do in the visuals, too. Episode 4, Games. Uh, I really enjoyed the robot's mom character in Episode 3 and got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people told me that they were also made very uncomfortable by the character, and I thought, ooh, that's kind of a nice thing. So I thought, all right, let's do another one. So... She's become the every mom, whether it's my mom or friend's moms or anything, all get funneled into robot's mom. She's kind of the uber mom of the show. Episode five, The List. In, this is where I tried for the first time to take a childhood story, something that happened to me in fifth grade, and trans transpose the setting to a uh, modern office. And that gives it an extra oddness because for coworkers to be doing this to... Uh, a colleague just is extra strange, you know, where you might might be a little more typical if I kept it in a classroom. I want to say a little bit about the supporting characters you see in Bowtie. So in the bank, the coffee cup is the banker, and I don't know why he's a coffee cup. Uh, I just thought office, um, coffee cup. Okay, coffee cup, let's go with that. <laughs> and give him a little tie so he looks like he works in a bank. I did show this bank cartoon to a banker later on who was giving me a pretty hard sell and it shut him right up so I think it was a little a little too close to home in uh, episode 7 this was a school situation kept at school and, and I'm not a big fan of this cartoon I, I kind of feel like it's a little too literal, and I think that's kind of why it's more fun to, to mix things up and not always have uh, the situations exactly as they would have appeared. In Vacation, this is the kind of subject I probably wouldn't cover nowadays with Bowtie, now that I know what I'm going for more. Um, this whole idea of like a spring break theme, um, Bowtie drinking too much, is not really where the rest of the series would go, but uh, I've gotten some nice feedback about it anyway. Each bow tie takes about eight or so hours to create, uh, which is a fairly quick turnaround for a 30 second to one minute cartoon. And when you're in production, you sometimes realize you can make a creative choice that actually saves you a lot of work, which uh, I hoped would be the case with Fancy Dinner because the idea is bow tie leaves the scene but the story keeps going, and Bo although bow tie leaves the scene visually, he's certainly not gone. <laughs> and manages to embarrass himself um, even off camera. The backgrounds in Bowtie, as you see in clay, are black and white, um, very simple. I often let the white space um, fill in a lot of those details you don't need. But in the case of this cartoon, I think it looks really cheap and rushed to me. And I think it gets the idea of a cubicle maze, but without any finesse. So I don't think this background would have passed the muster or the mustard on future episodes. Thanks so much for checking out this Bowtie Commentary Pack for episodes 1 through 10. Look out for more such editions, and every Tuesday you will see new Bowtie cartoons at this channel. This channel is a proud member of the Channel Federator Network, so be sure and show them some love. 
And if you like bow tie and you want to see more of them, uh, show your love by hitting subscribe and by sharing your favorite episodes with your friends and family. If you have any other ideas for what you'd like to see on, on future bow tie behind the scenes episodes, leave those comments below. And don't forget to have a yeah, 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 bow tie, yeah, of a day. <laughs>